Hey everyone, this is Dr. Clyde Letsom, and I just got these uh, devices in. They are microphone sensors or audio sensors. Um, I'm about to start a project and before I actually start the project what I want to do is I want to test these microphones to see um, how well they work and so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to use a couple of these uh, microphone uh, sensors here to test I'm going to use my Arduino also uh, in order to help me test them and so we'll do that uh, right after we get through the uh, introduction Okay, to do this build, we're going to need a few items. We're going to need one Arduino. You're also going to need um, two uh, microphone sensors. The one that I purchased in particular is that D, the one from, I'm not sure how to pronounce the company's name, but it's D A O K I. Uh, you can find uh, something similar to use also if you decide to do the same uh, uh, build. Uh, you also need two LEDs two 330 ohm resistors, uh, one breadboard, connection wires, a computer, and a USB cable that can be connected to both your computer and to the Arduino. You're going to need a, um, the Arduino IDE also, so you're going to need to download that. And that's pretty much it in terms of material that you need. Okay, and here's the Fritzen diagram for the circuit that we're going to build. I do want to point one thing out here. The sensors, the microphone sensors that are here are actually shown in red. However, the ones that I purchase are blue. So as I go through the build, you'll notice that in the uh, video.
All right, let's look. Let's take a quick look at the uh, code that I'm going to use, or the, what they call a sketch. Um, so in this area here at the top, we have our uh, variable declarations. I declare my variables. These are ints. These are boolean. Then in the setup area, I indicate which pins are going to be used, whether they're going to be used as inputs or outputs, and I also set up the serial port. And then we get to the main portion of the program here where I do the digital read-in from the two microphone sensors. And then I have a set of if statements, if-else statements here. And so pretty much if I get low, low on the left and the right, then nothing's going to happen. We expect that there's no uh, sound or the sensors cannot pick up the sound. If we get low and high, high on the right, that means the right microphone picked up sound. Else, if we get high and low, high on the left, we, that means the left microphone picked up sound. And then finally, if we have high, high, or the last option pretty much, that means then that both microphones are picking up sound. And so this is just the code uh, really quickly. Um, I'm going to make the code available on my website. Um, more official, nicely done. So if you need to um, get a copy of it, you don't want to retype, you can go there and grab it. OK, so you may need to make some adjustments to the sensitivity of the microphone sensors. In order to do so, you'll need a small screwdriver. And what you'll do is you'll take that small screwdriver and adjust the screw on the potentiometers on the microphone sensors. And on mine, they are here and over here. And what you want to do is you want to adjust them so that when the sound is coming, let's say, from the left side over this microphone, only this LED will turn on. And when the sound is in the middle, both should be turning on. And then when you get over here to the right, then this LED should turn on.